Now we're going to take a look at the circuit. Now what's happening here is I have a simple circuit. I have uh, two sources. I have two sources where the electrons can flow off this, across it, like on a battery. All right, so click again. We have direct current. Next. Again. Again. One more time. All right, and then we have alternating current, back and forth. So as I rotate this, the magnets flip. Flip, 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 flip. And then the electrons go back and forth on the wires, on the terminals here, and they come on these wires. And when I do it real fast, they flow back and forth over this filament because I have a, a circuit, a simple circuit. Now, if I undo this, if I undo this, the circuit is broken and the electrons don't flow, so I'm just turning it. But here's the two terminals right here. Here's the two terminals right here. If I take a person and I connect their fingers, they get the electricity across it. But we can make a big human circuit if you want. Who wants to be part of the big human circuit? You'll have to hold hands like you did. Yeah, come on Let's up. Let's do it. It's fun. Human circuit. Right. Oh, you guys move that way. All right. Uh, you touch your finger here, and you touch your finger here. And uh, Jeremy, since you since you know how this works, uh, let go of Sandra's hand. No, just Sandra's. Oh. And Sandra, you just hold your hand up, just like that. No, wait, hold on, time out. Oh my hand. <laughs> Mr. Newman, you ever do the rods? Yeah. That's fine. She got right. my hand go. Do you guys feel any electricity? I do. I have low resistance. Do you see that light bulb going, right? Oh. Yeah. I don't Just wait feel till nothing. I touch you. <laughs> I think I feel him. All right, now touch, touch him. No. Oh, I got it. You guys are feeling? No. Oh, you got to hold her hand now. You got to hold her hand. Now do you feel it? I feel tangled. I feel tangled. Yeah. I feel oh, a little bit. I feel, feel it. You're cranking. All right, now take take uh take your hand up. Do you still feel it, Kim? I resist it. I'm sure. Feel my hand. All right. Now, uh, I didn't tell you this. Electricity goes through the least resistance. Put your fingers up. Uh, it goes through the least resistance. <laughs> so a lot of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I brought a little bit. I just want to go to All right. Now, uh, the 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 All right. Uh, electricity flows through the least resistance. That's Resistance. Next. 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 All right. Resistance is the force that opposes the flow of electrons. Resistance is a uh, force that opposes the flow of electrons. And it's measured in ohms. The symbol is the Greek letter omega. It's like an upside down horseshoe. Yeah. What was the guy name? What was his name? Oh, was uh, it? John Holmes. Oh, yeah. Voltini. Voltage. Yeah, I pay attention. Yeah, it's Martini Voltage. Uh, the great Voltini. Thicker wires are less resistant. Longer wires are more resistant. And conductors have low resistance. Insulators have high resistance. All right. Electricity wants to flow just like water. Water wants to flow with the least resistance in the path with the least resistance to that flow. If I have two, if I have two, if I have a water, a little river in my backyard, and I break that river down two paths, and in one path I put a bunch of huge boulders, and the other path, or the other path I leave clear. Where's the water going to flow more likely? In the clear path. Uh, what we had was we had two sources, two places where this electricity could flow. It could flow through the light bulb, or it could flow through you students. And when the light bulb was allowing electricity to flow, that was the path of least resistance. You ever hear that? Path of least resistance. So it would flow through the light bulb. So you guys got like a little tingling. 
You didn't get much. When I unscrewed the light bulb, electricity couldn't flow through the light bulb anymore. So where did it go, Danielle? Through everybody else. Taking the path of least resistance. All right, conductors have low resistance, and that's what we use. All right, this metal wire over here is a conductor. <laughs> the light bulb filament is a conductor. It's made of tungsten, or metal. And uh, the sources, the contact sources on the light bulb are made of metal. The base of the bulb is made of metal, right? Uh, you guys, uh, some people have high resistance or low resistance, depending on your skin thickness, uh, the amount of salt intake you have, how much water you drink. Ohm's law, right? The relationship among current voltage and resistance. These three important variables. Next, it's equation, right? Ohm's law states that the current in each circuit is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. Next, uh, current I is equal to voltage V divided by the resistance, R. Next, and I, I don't know if you've ever seen this circle before. I think you guys remember last semester? We did it with speed, distance, time, all right? Say I'm looking for current. You gotta draw this circle. Say I'm looking for current. What's my equation? I equals what? V over R, you see that? I equals V over R. What if I'm looking for resistance? What's up here? Voltage divided by current. What if I'm looking for voltage? I times R. For one variable you're looking for, right? If you cover it, Alex, you can't see it, which means you're looking for V. I times R equals V. If you cover it, you're looking for R. V divided by I equals R. If you cover it, you're looking for I. V divided by R, V divided by R, V divided by R equals I. And that's Ohm's law. You guys got this written down? Next. Ah, let's do the math. A car has a 12 volt system. The headlights are on a 10 amp circuit. How much resistance do they have? 12 volts, 10 amps. How do we determine resistance using your little circle thing there? What is it? V divided by I equals what? Uh, 1.2. 1.2, very good. 12 divided by 10 is 1.2 what? 1.2 what? Watts? Ohms. Resistance is in ohms. Okay. All right, so your house uses 120 volts. That's true. What amount of current would flow through a 20 ohm resistor? Maybe your stereo. Mm -hmm. Huh? Seven? Sixty? What equation do we use? Current I equals what? V divided by R. So 120 divided by 20 equals what? Seven. Seven? Six. 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 12 divided by 2 is 6. 120 divided by 20 is 6. All right, power is the rate at which electricity does work or provides energy. The amount of electric power a device uses to do work is determined by its resistance. Next. All right, P, power, right, is equal to V, what does V stand for, Jeremy? Voltage. Very good. And I, what does I stand for? Inertia. Alex, what does I stand for? 
Electrical current. Electrical current. Excellent. So we have voltage times current is equal to the power. Next. Power is equal to voltage times I current in the circuit. Write that down. You. Power is equal to voltage times current in the circuit. 